Steve Dalkowski was a minor league pitcher with a fabled fastball. The model for Nuke Lelouch, Tim Robbins' wild throwing character in Bull Durham. I want to bring heat. In the minor leagues, Dalkowski set strikeout records everywhere he played in the 60s. But as Dalkowski himself admitted, there was a problem. He walked as many batters as he struck out and would never play in the majors. In the words of Bull Durham director Ron Shelton, he had the equivalent of Michelangelo's gift, but could never finish a painting. Steve Dalkowski was 80. Dr. DeLutha King and his wife Lois were inseparable for 60 years. Lois and Dee, as he was known, met in Chicago in 1960. She was a dental hygienist. He, a resident at Howard University School of Medicine. Going into the field of medicine, my concern was uh, to be of service. In Alabama, Dr. King became the first black doctor at the Tuskegee VA Hospital. Later, he'd set up a thriving practice in Atlanta. They were very much in love, said their son, Ron Loving. On April 10th, just hours after he buried his father, Loving got the call his mother had died too. Dr. DeLutha King Jr. and Lois King were both 96. Madhvi Aya was a physician's assistant who worked the emergency room at Brooklyn's Woodhull Medical Center. She'd been a doctor in India before moving to the U.S. in 1994 to join her husband Raj and to raise their daughter, Minoli. There's nothing that her hugs and her voice couldn't make me feel better. Like everything about her just made me feel like I was safe and that I was at home. Minoli, a college freshman, texted her mom while she was in the hospital. Even a few days after her passing, I kept texting her, wanting to believe that it wasn't true that she passed away. I miss you, she wrote. Thank you for coming to me in my dreams. Madhvi Aya was 61. Jose Fontanez was the first Boston police officer to die of COVID-19. We lost a hero today to this virus. Mayor Marty Walsh paid tribute to the 29-year veteran of the force. Fontanez spent 24 of them at the same Jamaica Plains station. He was a great soul, said his old friend, Detective David Martinez, who called him Beaky. He treated people with kindness, respect, love, and that carried through to his family. Fontanez's law enforcement family escorted his casket to the cemetery. Jose Fontanez was 53. Raymond Copeland was a sanitation worker in New York City. A single father, he raised three daughters after their mother died. He took three jobs at one point to be able to provide for us, said his oldest daughter, Naima Saifula. Copeland joined the sanitation department in 2015 and met Tamika Robinson on the job. Last year, they were engaged. He was kind and generous, she said, and treated me like a queen. Raymond Copeland was 46. Samantha Wissinger was a registered nurse in Michigan who'd worked at Beaumont Hospital. Anything you asked, she'd do it, said Sam Bachman, her best friend of more than 20 years. She was a warrior. Samantha fought through stage three breast cancer and stage four brain cancer. She found the love of her life online and last year married Marcus Wissinger in Nashville. Next month would have been their first anniversary. Samantha Wissinger was 29. 